This is Louise for MMA Crazy and I'm here with Terry and Ware who faces Tom Deacon at UFC London. Um, have you been to Europe before and if so, how are you finding it so far? It's my first time and I absolutely love it. Yeah. When did you arrive? How are you kind of adjusting to everything? I got here Tuesday night. Adjusting has been pretty well. Been you know just training and sleeping, taking naps periodically, trying to adjust to the time schedule and the change in the weather. Uh, but I felt great. So. And you're facing Tom Deaconwa, who's had a, a you know a lot of hype surrounding his name. What did you think when they first put his name forward to you? Oh, I said yes immediately. I was excited. You know when I first you know got signed to the UFC. You know we're looking at it. You know people were asking me a couple matchups that I was excited about, and um, uh, his name was one of them. So. Um, I was expecting to fight him, you know, somewhere, you know, down the line. And um, so when the name came across for, as the offer, I said a yes immediately. And what kind of excites you about this matchup? What do you think about his skill set? Um, I mean, he's a great skill set. He's a great stand-up fighter. He likes to bring it. And um, I'm the same way. So that's what excites me a lot is that we're very, very similar in terms of the way we like to approach, approach the fights. And um, I think it's going to make for a great matchup and a potential fight of the night. And he's had, like you, two fights in the UFC. What have you thought of his past performances? Yeah, obviously his first matchup, he looked, he looked great, you know, against Patrick Williams. And, um, you know, I mean, he's looked great, you know, his other fights out, outside of the UFC as well, too. So um, that's, you know, kind of what I expected. You know, it's a Cody Stamen fight, you know, Cody's a tough matchup. I fought him as well, too. And uh, um, I thought it was probably, probably a bit of a bad matchup for him with the wrestling style. And, um, but, uh, you know, I mean, obviously I know he's looking to bounce back. And, you know, I've trained really hard for this training camp and looking to ex exploit some of the things that I need to exploit in order to get the win. And in terms of your career in the UFC, you've had two losses. Um, is there any pressure on you to win this fight in order to kind of secure your place in the UFC? Yeah, absolutely, man. But uh, uh, um, pressure, you know, for me is like uh, I, I feel like I perform better, best under pressure. You know, you know, even more than my first two fights, there, were, you know, after the first fight, it wasn't a guarantee that I would get another fight, and then even after the Sean O'Malley fight, the second fight wasn't guaranteed. But I'm always going to go in there and do what I always do and fight as hard as I can, and um, and you know, the chips will fall where they may. And what have you taken away from those losses? Obviously, they've both gone on to do great things. Um, have you learned anything from those, and has that kind of made any impact in terms of your preparation for this fight? Yeah, it's reassured me that you know that that I am one of the better guys in the division as well too. You know, looking at their fights after you know after fighting me, I felt like they've had better performances against other opponents. So I feel like you know that I'm right in the mix, and that you know that that I'm up there, and re kind of reassured myself the, of my skill set as well too. Um, it's just a matter of getting get, just getting over that hump, and uh, you know. And, and getting that win, you know, sometimes, you know, the best fighters in the world, sometimes, you know, you'll lose a couple before they have to go on, you know, on a streak or something like that. So that's what I'm looking forward to. And you mentioned about obviously skill set. What kind of weaknesses do you think you you, you know you've seen in, in Tom's game, and, and what are you looking to uh, uh, to do in in, in, t in terms of how it's unfolding on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say he has any any weaknesses or any, like any glaring holes in his game or anything like that. I just feel like that my skill set and, and, and some areas that are that are better than his that I can you know take advantage of and exploit. Um, and it's going to be a matter of you know on fight night being able to execute those uh, execute my game plan and execute those, those skill sets against his. So you're both strikers and you've both never been knocked out, so how do you see yourself getting the finish and getting the win on Saturday? Um, yeah, me as, a, me as a striker, I'm always looking to finish, I'm always looking to get the knockout. Uh, you know, I think a lot of people underestimate my, my ground game as well too, so uh, I can see myself getting a, getting a submission, you know, if we, get, if we go down to the ground as well too. But I'm also prepared, and, you know, I know he's tough and I'm not going to go in there, you know, you know, trying to pressure for the knockout and do something dumb and get caught. Um, I'm going to let it come, you know, let it come to me and, um, you know, just perform the way I need to perform on, on the, just to get the win.